Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So uh, we're going to talk about leadership when it comes to continuous improvement and and daily management. So what what would you say uh, your role is in in uh, as a, as a manager in those two uh, areas? I think one important thing is, is that from the beginning, and it, it, it maybe you can define two different phases. Yeah. First phase is from the beginning. It's secure that all of our employees understand the importance of the daily management and the continuous improvement. Yeah. That because always there's some resistance. Mm. Someone will like it. Someone doesn't like it. Mm. So you should secure that the process start to work. Mm -hmm. That's the some part of this. Mm. And after a while, that everyone understand the benefits of the the daily management, continuous improvement, mm. and. I think that's different afterwards mm -hmm. as a manager, role of manager. Mm -hmm. It's more to try to guide and to, to, to improve the, the performance of every of each mm -hmm. employees afterwards. Um, I can say these two different phases, uh, I, I can't say. Then, of course, uh, when we have the continuous improvement, it's very important that secure that the quality of the, of the, um, of the improvements yeah. uh, is in a good quality is in good way mm. and also to help them to prioritize the importance mm. because mm. as a manager you know what is the uh, highest priority right now in the organization and try to coach the other one to to understand what is important and what is mm. less important right now in, yeah. this, in this time. What, what do you think mm. about? Uh, I think about uh, encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, you get the deviations or good ideas. Mm in the loop yeah yeah um, and also uh, listening to your co-workers mm. uh, mm. those closest to the process yeah yeah exactly. yeah so some some companies sometimes struggle to find the time to work because they are busy with doing other stuff w what is your role in that I think uh, we believe that is part of the daily work mm. the improvement work yeah it's not something that you do it as extra extra work. So, and as manager, we try to prioritize yeah. our, with, with different tasks. And, yeah. and we said we put actually the high priority for the continuous improvement work and the daily management. Everyone must understand that is is the highest priority during the day. So yeah. it's not something that nice to have. No. It's something that we must to have. Yeah. And uh, no. I think uh, it's holy time. Yeah. 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 Good. <laughs> so if we look at a, a normal day. What what tasks do you do a normal day when it comes to continuous improvement and daily management? You know, I, I understand you have different levels of meetings, level one, two, and three. So, can you just say how a normal day would look like in yeah. those aspects? Uh, normal day will start uh, with the first uh, uh, morning meeting, as we yeah. call them. The <coughs> daily control is in the warehouse yeah. at uh, seven o'clock. Yeah. Um, next is inbound and outbound yes uh, after that we have a second level so mm. the management team for uh, the supply chain yep and these uh, last is uh, third level yes. yeah the management team yeah. mm. <laughs> from each, each yeah. department yeah. 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 so that's the daily management yeah, yeah. and then we try to if 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 something happened in the warehouse or in the inbound team, mm. for example, at uh, seven o'clock or eight mm. o'clock, mm. and they need to have this help or support from the other department yeah. or from the other functions, mm. uh, then we lift the problem mm. in uh, in level two. Yeah. And then if there is something that we need, for example, help from the finance department, mm. Mm. then we lift the problem at, uh, mm. at level three. Yeah. Yeah. And at uh, nine thirty, mm. everyone knows yeah. what is the problem during the day, and we need to focus and so. Yeah. Yeah. And when it comes to continuous improvement, what is your, what is your, how does your normal day look like there or normal week? Um, we have um, each function have uh, um, one hour to uh, go through the uh, the boards, mm -hmm. discuss, prioritize, and then uh, everyone uh, sh schedule in their cal calendar yeah. uh, the two hour work during yeah. the week. Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, it. Sometimes it's more than two hours, mm. and sometimes it's less. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and uh, of course coaching. Yeah. yeah. How so many? How, how many? How much time do you spend on coaching per per day or per week? 
it's very different yeah. uh, based, based on how many ATA you are yeah. coached because we try to spread it that yeah. it doesn't need that for example Henke is always coach for the mm. for the warehouse no. it can be another person that yeah. is coaching as well yeah. uh, so it's very different but Half an hour, one yeah. hour, half, mm. an, hour, half an hour, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And and uh, what what have you done to uh, and what I say? How did you introduce this structure with the daily meetings and the continuous improvement? What 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 did you do to uh, to okay. implement this and, and, and make it work? I think uh, again, you you have been from the beginning. Yeah, but, mm. <laughs> but it, it's quite simple. Well, actually, we started with the PDSA loop yep. uh, and little problems, mm -hmm. and then it's developed. Mm -hmm. uh, first, we just have post-its, and we do a developed a little note that you mm -hmm. can write more information, and A3 and quick fix. Mm -hmm. but and and the, le the leaders must believe in that and uh, respect the work to, to be the role model for the other employees. Yeah. Yeah. So. If you say that we, we need to keep this structure, mm. the leaders must must keep mm. it. As I heard, that we have a, we're very good in this one, and the leaders mm. will really, really mm. send the, the right signals to yeah. the, all the employees. Yeah. That is important. Yeah. So, so what what difficulties have you had? There's always some challenges with this uh, introducing this. And there can be a, a lot of enthusiasm in the beginning. It's easy that it you know fades away. So, what have you had any difficulties? Blaming culture was not an issue. Um, so getting deviations and IDs up mm. on the board had never been a problem. No. Um, to actually the <coughs> to work with the A3, mm. I think that's uh, that's one that we have struggled mostly with. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of reputation, a lot of education. Mm -hmm. We're still still uh, educating us yeah. in mm -hmm. the in the mm -hmm. A three. Mm -hmm. um, and we have the same education for everyone in the, co yeah. the company. Oh, exactly. oh. So the leaders have first mm -hmm. it's usually it has been usual like the leader had some education in something, mm -hmm. tried this, how we want to implement it yeah. and afterwards the all the organization mm -hmm. had the same education. Yeah. So all everyone in the same level? Mm -hmm. So you mentioned, you, you understand coaching is important for you. So mm -hmm. how do you, how do you, how do you, do you practice coaching? Do you, do you improve your ability to coach? Yes. How do you do that? We have a coaching dojo, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. the management team. Nice work. Okay. <coughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, coach, coaching each other. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what is that? Is that role play? Or Ro yeah, yeah, it's a role, role, yeah. Yeah. role play. Yeah. How often do you do that? Once per month. Yeah. yeah. We do it once per month, but it can be case to case. Also, yeah. we said we yeah. we have uh, we have m we have plan for that every yeah. month, but it can be sometimes um, if you have some difficulty yeah. that we want to coach someone, yeah. Yeah. and we know that I need some help. It's, yeah. it's a really hard one. Yeah. Then then of course we sit oh, together. Great. And yeah. great, great, great. Um, when it comes to continuous improvement, uh, you have been successful in this. You, you started working in what did you say 2012 or 2014? 14. 14. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, and how how do you make this? Uh, how do you make it stick, this culture, that you improve year on year? How do you do that? I mean, it's, it's part of our lifestyle mm. now, I would say. Mm. It's part of our culture, uh, new body. So it, it's not dependent on one person or, one, or the management team mm. or, or some employees. Mm. It's, uh, it's some part of our business. Mm. So I think in, in that way that everyone that when the new employees and so on, we they understand also that mm. this is this is some part of the new body's culture. Yeah. That you need to work like this. Yeah. I think that helps. Uh, so we, we don't try hard to do that. Mm. Or we, we follow the instruction. We follow the structures. Mm. Uh, we try to to have education for everyone that mm. comes in the system. And a very good education for they understand what is the meaning of this and yeah. what is the history of this all the job that we, yeah. we have done. So we plan for that actively, and then just just. Follow the others. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, so, so I understand that you started with continuous improvement in 2014 and you have had good outcomes of it. Uh, it's easy that.
to become content and, and uh, then the energy in continuous improvement fades away. What do you do? How do you, how do you make this stick and, and how do you improve year on year? Mm. Uh, first of all, we um, uh, challenge ourselves um, by um, adjusting the uh, uh, yeah. our, our goals on the uh, in our K KPIs. Yeah. Um, How often do you do that? Uh, once a year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and also, we have our uh, strategic uh, deliverables. Um, so for this year in <coughs> in the warehouse, yeah. we have uh, uh, a little bit that is uh, to increase production mm. uh, in our new uh, picking line yeah. uh, and also the quality. Uh, so in that way, uh, we, we challenge ourselves. Okay. And <coughs> these so by increasing production, you mean increasing the volume or the capacity? Yeah, or, yeah? exactly. Okay. Mm. And uh, for every year, mm. we uh, put. Yeah new, new uh, challenges up yeah, here. Yeah. Okay. And these challenges, I would say, it, they are connected to the strategic challenges of the companies yeah. in the long term. Yeah. So it's from the board, uh, board that uh, requests that where we want to be after, for example, three, yeah. five years. So we adjust the activities that we want to do. Yeah, yeah. How do you create the link between the strategic challenges then and, and, the, the, and the teams, the work that the teams do? How do you create that link? Uh, the activities connected to these um, uh, are uh, gone through here yeah. uh, once a week as well, yeah. uh, and we have everyone's uh, name and who is doing what yeah. uh, activity connected to these deliverables. Yeah. Yeah. And and then the uh, the A threes and the Cartas, how how are they linked to the the objectives? Um, it depends on, I would say. Mm. Usually, this, this, uh, this, these are more. Uh, we we run this point more as the project. Yeah. And sometimes we get help from the A3 analysis to analyze some part of the project and yeah. so on. But otherwise, we drive this point as the project mostly. Yeah. Um, and of course, if we see that we need to improve some process and so yeah. on, then we can connect this to this yeah. um, continuous improvement and then update some process yeah. as well. The A3s and <coughs> uh, quick fixes are more connected to the uh, KPIs. And yeah. 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 Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.